come here and I thought as I've just finished up at the gym here I would do a really quick review on the Rev Gear Transformer bag. Now it's no secret I'm a big fan of Rev Gear products. I generally like them. I know the company very very well and when I review Rev Gear products nine out of ten times I know that it's already a good product we're throwing it into a review for that reason some of the ones which are bad products I'll give them a bit of feedback before uh, they ever hit the review column and they go and fix them well here's one of them I'm gonna be honest with you my main kit bag is actually the Fuji kit bag um, they've discontinued them now but it's a really big bag it's really well compartmentalized and I thought it was probably the best kit bag of its generation at the time but this bag I use when I'm traveling a lot um, I use it especially when I'm going down to see people and showing them samples and showing them stuff but when they first made this bag this over strap this strap right here they made it out of plastic and I identified straight away that I said hey that's gonna smash that's gonna snap and lo and behold first batch they they all smashed and they were terrible but They've made them from steel. Listen to that. And they fixed that problem. They also put the transformer straps in. This was on the original. You pull these out here and you can turn it into a backpack. Now, yet again, they made them all out of steel. On the first generation ones, they made them out of plastic. They all broke, so it was no good. But this is the cool thing about this brand when something goes wrong with their product they don't persist with it they just go right okay we need to take a relook at that and we go and fix them and they've done a good job with this now the plus points of this bag the plus points of this bag firstly its size it's actually massive you can fit you could probably fit six kimonos in this if you really wanted to but you i've literally put two sets of tie pads focus mitts, a whole bunch of stuff that I've taken to show people as samples into this bag and it handles it and more. It's because of the design of it. If you're wanting a bag that's compartmentalized so that you can pick out your gear quickly and you want different pockets and what have you, this has got a couple of pockets. It's got one on this side here. Yeah, it's got one on the side here, but that isn't its strength at all. And these pockets are very big, stuff's gonna get but when you look inside the bag, it's just a big open space. So if you want in a bag that's all compartmentalized and you're doing lots of different types of training and you're pulling your stuff in and out and you want to get it fast, and maybe you want to put your laptop and other stuff in there, this isn't the bag. That's the wrong bag for you. But if you're wanting a bag, say you're an instructor or you've got to take a lot of gear to one place, you can probably do worse than this one. So the design of it actually lends itself to a particular purpose so you can get a whole load of gear in here you can decide to throw it over your strap because it's flexible it moves around easily too now you could see that as a bad point for instance if you put a laptop in here or something breakable it's gonna get knocked if it's in the boot of the car or if it's in a place where it's gonna get hit by harder things again probably not the bag for you but if you want something where you've got to get a whole shit ton of gear in it this isn't a bad shout so i hope you enjoyed this review and i'll see you next time